real When your day's been abusive Well he would do it for you Cause what he feels is true And baby boy if you feel me He's the life you must choose So if you talk the talk Then you gotta walk the walk Better be getting those feet to step in Cause there's no time to stop And it's a life of decisions Consequences and intermissions Listen, he's always representing Never dismissing You gotta take the time To get it right and see your mistakes You can't be fooling with them suckers Or be playing them games This ain't no joke player I'm trying to bring in his real As another player Only can with first class appeal So keep the faith and don't wait another minute Cause your life is on the line Until the time of the infinite And from that point, kid You're going up or going down There won't be time for your repentance So turn your life around Make your life Change your life You never have to wonder Hold me one Can't you see He's the only one This is fair warning, and and I'm crazy Eddie, and uh, that's what they say. So I want to start this program off by letting you know that there are many times that we get a fair warning, and I don't know how we take those warnings. Sometimes, sometimes we take them different. Ah, sometimes we we don't understand it. But because it's like that, you know, people don't understand what a warning is. They don't know how to take a warning when it's coming. It causes people to do really weird things. And I just got a couple of weird things here. Here's a, here's a warning label that's on the side of a, a commercial washing machine. And it's got a big sign that says, Warning, do not put any person in this washer. Oh, I'm glad they put that on there because, you know, if you can't get those socks off that have been on too long, might just want to throw you in there and run them with them socks. Here's another one. It's on a chemical that they put in the pipes to eat the roots up and that, you know, it's like a drain old thing, but it ain't, but they put it in the pipes. And they got a big instruction warning label on it, and it says, before using, read instructions, cautions, and warnings carefully. If you do not understand or cannot read all directions, cautions, and warnings, do not use this product. Oh, 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 that's it. So if you can't read, don't use the product. If you can't, if you don't understand it. Oh, well, uh, I can't read, so, hmm, whatever. Like I said, a fair warning. What is a fair, a fair warning? You know, we get warnings all the time. I don't know if it, people, you know, you guys don't understand. Some people don't understand what a warning is. You think you think it's just some kind of a game people are playing or you know, serious business. I'll tell you how serious it is. Here it is here's another one right here. It's on the it's on a bottle of medicine right here and uh, but it came from from the veterinarian. And it's for this guy's dog and the pharmacist thought that, you know, he does it all the time, so he just put the uh, warning label on there and here's what it says. It says, may cause drowsiness. Alcohol may intensify the effects of this drug. Take care when operating machinery or driving a car. Okay, so there it is right there. If your dog is driving a car, don't let him take these drugs because he's going to crash and that's it. If you don't want your dog crashing, you don't want him eating these pills. Here's another one here from the scrubbing bubbles, you know, the little scrubbing bubbles that run all around and, and scrub the toilet. And you've got a brush now that you can buy a brush for that. And it's a brush for the cleat of the toilet. And there's a big warning on it. I don't know why it's on there. Is this possible? But it says, do not use for personal hygiene. Oh, that's going to burn. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you just imagine, you would think, Maybe that people could figure that out. And last, and but not least, is my favorite one. And it's found, it's a big label, and it's found on a chainsaw. Put it on this chainsaw because I guess they were having problems, you know, with the chainsaws. So here it is. 
It says danger. Danger. Do not hold the wrong end of the chainsaw. Okay, so there you go. A fair warning. That's what you need. We need a fair warning. The world today is trying to get all kind of warnings. We've got storm warnings and, and all sorts of warnings. But is it a fair warning? A warning is something that serves to warn, like a storm is coming. You know, like a storm warning, an advice, an alarm, alert, a caution, a distress signal. Fair. Fair means it's an objective. It's, uh, it's uh, nobody's feelings involved. Um, I'm not telling you this because uh, my feelings are involved or uh, me against you. I'm telling you this because I think you need to know it. It's fair. It's just. It's without race. It's without prejudice. It's without any creed. It's, it's with all truth and heartfelt desire that I give you a warning. But sometimes people, they don't understand how to take a fair warning. But in this program, I'm going to take just a short time, and I'm going to tell you a fair warning. We're going to talk about this fair warning. And then when it's all over, I hope there won't be no excuse for you. But know this. Know this. There will be other programs, and every program is going to be a fair warning. Make no mistake about it. This is not some game. This is not a cartoon. This is real, and it's a warning, and it's fair. And it's just. So just make yourself ready. Because it's coming. I'll be right back. <laughs> Whew, that was a quick break. But we got to take those breaks. i give you time to suck that all in. Okay, here's what I want you to know. This is what fair warning is all about. Here's where the information comes from. Now, you, you might debate what I'm going to talk about. You might not like what I'm going to use. But what I'm going to use is truth. Now, you might say, I don't believe that this is truth. I don't believe uh, Brother Ed in the Bible. You know what I mean? Okay, well, just because you don't believe in the Bible doesn't mean it's not a fair warning. See, that's the problem. The problem is the Bible is a fair warning. You know, it's kind of like... <laughs> Don't hold a chainsaw on the wrong end. You know, it's really plain. It's so obvious. It's, it, it's, it's, it's known, but yet we fight about it. But I want you to know that the Bible gives us many, many warnings. In Colossians 1.28, it says, Whom we preach, warning every man, and teaching every man in all wisdom, that we may present every man perfect in Christ Jesus. Warning every man warning every person every man woman and child that's what we do we're not crazy it ain't about the Benjamins or the billion dollar bills look at me do I look like I got a billion dollars I mean I'm talking to you from equipment that I put together out of the dump yes it's true I'm the trash man in my local town and I pick stuff up sometimes out of there and I reuse it. As a matter of fact, everything you're seeing right now is a result of reusing what everybody else throws away. But I want you to know it's a fair warning. And the warning is, you can't stop me. It doesn't matter. If I don't have the money, if God, if I don't have that, I'm going to find a way. I'm going to make a way. That's what I do. I'm going to make a way to give you that warning. Hebrews 11.7 says, by faith, Noah, being warned of God, of things not seen as yet. See, everybody knows the story about Noah and the ark and the rain and the flood. And we know that Noah was told to build a boat over a hundred years before the rain came. Uh, I guess it's because he didn't have like a battery-operated drill or something. But it took over a hundred years to build a boat. A hundred years he was warning people. And then, not only that, God came to Noah and said in seven days, seven days from now, it's going to start. So he came seven days before it started. 
He didn't just say build a boat before it rains. He came seven days before and gave a fair warning. Make sure everything is ready. Seven days. And still, people denied the warning. The Bible tells us many times in 1 Thessalonians 4, 6, that no man go beyond and defraud his brother in any manner, because that the Lord is the avenger of all such, as we also have forewarned you and testified. Forewarned you. You see, this scripture goes along with messing with God's anointed. You shouldn't mess with God's anointed, and there's a warning in that. And the warning is, if you're messing with God's anointing, you're trying to flim-flam somebody because they are calling themselves a Christian, and you think, well, Christians just, they just fall for anything, and I'm just going to take them to the cleaners. I got news for you. God is on our side. You see, we've accepted Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior, and because we've done that, the avenger of the brethren is the Lord. Make no mistake about it. You may not like that. You may not understand it. You may not like it. But I'm telling you, that's, that's a fair warning. I'm telling you, look out. Go ahead. You keep playing the game, keep beating on Christians, keep smashing them, knocking them down. But I'm here to tell you, it's a losing battle for those who come against God's chosen people. You understand that? That's a fair warning. The Bible gives it to us. And so what we need to know is it has to be a clear warning. Fair warning needs to be clear. And in the book of Romans it tells us, for the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Romans 1 and 20. Romans 1 and 20 explains to us that it's perfectly clear and without excuse. You can sit there and you can look at me, Crazy Eddie, on the other end of this video. But I want you to know, the fact of the matter is, you're without excuse. Everything is in front of us. The Lord has made everything possible. Right now, I'm not talking about other people. I'm talking about you. You know what's right and you know that it's true. And so, the fair warning is, what you going to do with it? You're going to have to do something with it. And because of that, I'm here to tell you, can't hide. It's clear. It's open. It's plain. And it's pure. That's it. And his name is Jesus Christ. And you can't debate that because you know it's true. But don't turn me off yet. Whew. Oh, all right. So, I got something else to tell you and warn you about. And that's this. There are things that are coming. Yes, it's true. Things are coming. They're coming. Things that you and I are going to face. Make no mistake about it. They're coming. And the Bible says, it says in Colossians 2.16, Let no man therefore judge you in meat or in drink or in respect of a holiday, or of the new moon, or of Sabbath days, which are a shadow of things to come. But the body is of Christ. That tells us that there are things to come. I don't want to jump all over these issues that we have these other issues about, uh, you know, the Sabbath day and all these other things. I don't want to go there right now. What I want to go is to tell you that there are things coming. There are things coming that we're all going to face. And there are choices coming that we're all going to make. Choices are coming. Things are coming and choices are coming. Ecclesiastes says, To everything there is a season, a time to every purpose under heaven, a time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, a time to pluck up that which is planted. There's a time to be born and a time to die. You know, I can prove that because you're here looking at me right now. So, you was born. I don't think anybody watching me was like hatched. Uh, you was born and the Bible's right. 
That's it. The Bible is right. You just didn't just happen. You was born. What are you going to do with that? That's a fair warning. So then if you're born, if there's a time to be born, then there's a time to die. My friend, this is absolute truth, whether you like it or not. All around us, every person watching me right now, you can agree with me that we all had family members that have died. They lived and they died. And you're next in the chain. You're next in the chain. You're living and you're going to die. Now that's not some kind of a theological uh, thing. That's fact. It's the truth. That's the way it is. Don't get mad at me about it. But that's how it's going to happen. You're born, and then you're out of here. Just like the rest. And if you have children, they're next in line. And if you have grandchildren, they're next in line. This is a fair warning. The warning is, some people said the only thing that comes is death and taxes. <laughs> taxes may not always come. It may not be a tax pretty soon. Pretty soon they just might take it. Just not tax you, but just take it because they can. I mean, you're letting them do it anyway, most of us. Might as well just work for them anyway. That's unknown. You don't know if they're going to take it. Right now you're going, ah, oh, man, you're crazy. Yeah, you're right. Uh, we don't know if they're going to take our money or if it's a tax or if it's coming or going. But I'm going to tell you about death. It's coming. I'm going to make, it is on the way. My dad used to say when I was a little kid, he used to come and he used to say, someday I'm going to lead that parade. And then we'd see a funeral go by and he'd pull over and take his hat off and, and respect. Uh, that don't happen anymore now. If a funeral goes by, people try to run them down, pass them up. Ah, they're dead anyway. There's no respect anymore. I guess I'm just too old school. Anyway, Dad would pull over and he would go by and he'd say, Someday, I'm going to ride in one of those. And I remember, in 1968, <laughs> yeah, that's true, that was a long time ago. And I was following behind the black hearse. My big brother looked at me and he said, Dad is taken his last ride. Just like he said. Oh, it's coming. Oh, it's right here. You can't escape it. Now, because of that fact, God loves you. He loved you so much that He made a way for you. He warned you, and then He made a way for you. And He gave that way to you that's open to you. Salvation is a free gift. The fair warning is, you must accept it. If you don't accept it, then you reject it. I, I mean, that's it. Well, you, you, uh, you didn't tell me I was going to hell. No. I came to this segment to tell you that things are coming your way, and there's going to be choices that you're going to make about those things that are coming. You've got a few minutes, a few seconds. Uh, you just run that over your mind right now. What am I going to do with a few seconds a lot coming. What you need to do is think about it. It's a fair warning. It's coming. You better get ready for it. No mistake. Things are coming. And so there it is. That's my first video. And I decided to use it because I made it in 2010. And I made it in 2010. And I didn't want to throw it away. I don't apologize for the video, and I don't apologize for the audio, because it's true. That was done from things in the trash. But, you know, things progress. And so, next programs will certainly be different, hopefully. New cameras, new microphones, it'll be like it should be. Try not to make them too long. I don't want to make them too long. If this one's over 20 minutes, it's too long for me. But, uh... Next programs are on the way, so all I want you to do is I want you to uh, subscribe for me. That lets me know how many people's going to be watching, you know, 
and uh, leave your comments below, and that way uh, we can uh, fight about what it is I said. I like that. We don't learn nothing unless we fight about it. So I hope we're still around for another program if something don't happen to take us off. That being said, thank you. Mm-hmm.